Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed the algebraic method. There was a homework. Let us check the answer of the homework now. The perimeter of a rectangle is 80 meters and its length is 1 meter more than twice the breadth. What are its length and breadth? Here we have to find length and breadth. One of them can be taken as x. Here I am going to take breadth as x because it is given that length is 1 meter more than twice the breadth or length is given in terms of breadth. So let us take breadth as x. Given that length is 1 meter more than twice the breadth. Twice the breadth is 2x. 1 meter more than twice the breadth is 2x plus 1. Therefore, we can say length is equal to 2x plus 1 meters. Given that perimeter is 80 meters and we know perimeter means 2 times length plus breadth. So, we can say 2 times length plus breadth equal to 80. Since 2 times length plus breadth equal to 80, length plus breadth equal to half of it or 40. Here, length is 2x plus 1 and breadth is x. Replacing, we get 2x plus 1 plus x equal to 40. 2x plus x is 3x. So, this can be written as 3x plus 1 equal to 40. When 1 is added to 3x, that is 40. Therefore, 3x equal to 40 minus 1 or 39. When x is multiplied by 3, it is 39. Therefore, x is 39 divided by 3 or 13. x is 13 means breadth is 13 meters. Now, what is length? That is 2x plus 1 meters and x is 13. So, this can be written as 2 into 13 plus 1. 2 into 13 is 26 plus 1 is 27. Therefore, length is 27 meters. Now, you can check. Breadth is 13 meters, length is 27 meters, 1 meter more than twice the breadth. Now, what is the perimeter? 2 into 13 plus 27. 13 plus 27 is 40, 2 into 40 is 80. Therefore, the result is correct. Now, let us do the remaining problems on page 41. From a point on a line, another line is to be drawn such that the angle on one side is 50 degree more than the angle on the other side. How much is the smaller angle? Here we have to draw a line and we have to draw another line in such a way that angle on one side is 50 degree more than the angle on the other side. So let this angle be x degree then this angle should be 50 degree more than this angle or x plus 50 degree. So let us take the smaller angle as x then the larger angle is x plus 50 degree. Now we know sum of these two angles is 180 degree that means x plus x plus 50 degree equal to 180 degree. x plus x is 2x so this can be written as 2x plus 50 equal to 180. When 50 is added to 2x, that is 180. Therefore, 2x is 180 minus 50 or 130. When x is multiplied by 2, it is 130. Therefore, x is 130 by 2 or 65 degree. That means the smaller angle is 65 degree. Next problem. The price of a book is 4 rupees more than the price of a pen. The price of a pencil is 2 rupees less than the price of the pen. The total price of 5 books, 2 pens and 3 pencils is 74 rupees. What is the price of each? Here we have to find the price of a pencil, a pen and a book. One of them can be taken as x. Here I am going to take the price of a pen as x because the price of the pencil and price of the book are given in terms of the price of the 
pen that is price of the book is 4 rupees more than the price of the pen price of the pencil is 2 rupees less than the price of the pen so let me take the price of the pen as x then given that price of a book is 4 rupees more than the price of a pen that is 4 rupees more than x or x plus 4 that is price of a book is x plus 4 and also given that price of a pencil is 2 rupees less than the price of the pen that is 2 rupees less than x or x minus 2 now given that the total price of 5 books 2 pens and 3 pencils is 74 rupees what is the price of 5 books the price of a book is x plus 4 therefore the price of 5 books is 5 into x plus 4 what is the price of 2 pens the price of a pen is x rupees so the price of 2 pens is 2x rupees now what is the price of 3 pencils the price of a pencil is x minus 2 rupees therefore the price of 3 pencils is 3 into x minus 2 and the total price of all these is 74 rupees that means when we add all these together that is equal to 74 rupees now let us multiply 5 and x plus 4 at first 5 into x is 5x 5 into 4 is 20 therefore we can write this as 5x plus 20 we have to multiply both x and 4 by 5 then write 2x again we have to multiply 3 and x minus 2 3 into x is 3x 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 and that is equal to 74 now let us add all the terms containing variables together 5x plus 2x that is 7x plus 3x that is 10x then 20 minus 6 that is 14 so we can write it as 10x plus 14 equal to 74 when 14 is added to 10x that is 74 therefore 10x equal to 74 minus 14 or 60 when x is multiplied by 10 that is equal to 60 therefore x equal to 60 by 10 or 6 x is 6 that is the price of a pen is 6 rupees then what is the price of a book that is x plus 4 or 6 plus 4 or 10 rupees what is the price of a pencil x minus 2 or 6 minus 2 or 4 rupees now we can check whether our answer is right or wrong the price of 5 books is 50 rupees the price of 2 pens is 12 rupees 50 plus 12 is 62 then price of 3 pencils is 12 rupees 62 plus 12 is 74 therefore the answer is correct next problem the sum of 3 consecutive natural numbers is 36 what are the numbers the sum of 3 consecutive even numbers is 36 what are the numbers can the sum of 3 consecutive odd numbers be 36 why the sum of 3 consecutive odd numbers is 36 what are the numbers the sum of 3 consecutive natural numbers is 36 what are the numbers let us do one by one the first one is the sum of 3 consecutive natural numbers is 36 what are the numbers you know what is meant by natural numbers 1 2 3 etc these are natural numbers and the difference between any two consecutive natural numbers is always 1 or when we add 1 to a natural number we get the next natural number we need to take three consecutive natural numbers let the first one be x then we get the second one by adding 1 to it or it is x plus 1 then the third one is adding 1 to it again or that is x plus 2 so let us take the three consecutive natural numbers as x x plus 1 and x plus 2 given that the sum of these numbers is 36 that is x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 equal to 36 let us add all the variables together x plus x is 2x plus x is 3x 1 plus 2 is 3 so we can write it as 3x plus 3 equal to 36 when 3 is added to 3x that is 36 so 3x equal to 36 minus 3 or 33 
when x is multiplied by 3 that is 33 therefore x is 33 by 3 or 11 x is 11 that is the first number is 11 then the second number is 12 and third number is 13 therefore the numbers are 11 12 and 13 second part the sum of three consecutive even numbers is 36 what are the numbers you know the even numbers 2 4 6 8 etc are even numbers and the difference between any two consecutive even numbers is always 2 or when we add 2 to an even number we get the next even number so let us take the first even number as x then x plus 2 is the second even number and x plus 2 plus 2 or x plus 4 is the third even number so let the consecutive even numbers be x x plus 2 and x plus 4 given that the sum is 36 that is x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 equal to 36 let us add the variables together x plus x plus x is 3x 2 plus 4 is 6 so this can be written as 3x plus 6 equal to 36 when 6 is added to 3x that is 36 so 3x is 36 minus 6 or 30 when x is multiplied by 3 that is 30 therefore x is 30 by 3 or 10 x is 10 means the first even number is 10 next even number is 12 and after that it is 14 so the numbers are 10 12 and 14 third part can the sum of three consecutive odd numbers be 36 why the odd numbers are 1 3 5 etc let us add two odd numbers 1 plus 3 is 4 it is an even number again if you add odd number 4 plus 3 is 7 that means when we add three odd numbers together we always get an odd number we will never get an even number here 36 is an even number so sum of three consecutive odd numbers can never be 36 now the fourth part the sum of three consecutive odd numbers is 33 what are the numbers the difference between any two consecutive odd numbers is 2. So if we take the first odd number as x, the second odd number is x plus 2 and third odd number is x plus 4. So let us take the odd numbers as x, x plus 2 and x plus 4. Given that the sum is 33, that is x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 equal to 33. Let us add the variables together x plus x plus x is 3x 2 plus 4 is 6 so 3x plus 6 equal to 33 when 6 is added to 3x that is 33 therefore 3x is 33 minus 6 or 27 when x is multiplied by 3 it is 27 therefore x equal to 27 by 3 or 9 x equal to 9 means the first odd number is 9 then the second odd number is 11 and third odd number is 13. So the three consecutive odd numbers are 9, 11 and 13. Fifth part, the sum of three consecutive natural numbers is 33. What are the numbers? The difference between any two consecutive natural number is 1. So if we take the first natural number as x, the second natural number is x plus 1 and third natural number is x plus 2 so let us take the three consecutive natural numbers as x x plus 1 and x plus 2 given that the sum is 33 that is x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 equal to 33 x plus x plus x is 3x 1 plus 2 is 3 so 3x plus 3 equal to 33 when 3 is added to 3x that is 33 therefore 3x equal to 33 minus 3 or 30 when x is multiplied by 3 it is 30 therefore x is 30 by 3 or 10 that means the first natural number is 10 then the second is 11 and the third is 12 so the three numbers are 10 11 and 12 today we have discussed problems on page 41 now there is a homework in a calendar a square of four numbers is marked the sum of the numbers is 80 
what are the numbers second part a square of nine numbers is marked in a calendar the sum of all these numbers is 90 what are the numbers in the next video we shall discuss the next part different problems till then bye